The projected area analysis available in OpenVSP gives you the capability of performing an area projection in arbitrary directions and onto arbitrary out outlines of components to perform an area analysis in OpenVSP. Now, let's take a look very briefly at how this is performed. Under the Analysis tab, you can come to Projected Area, and that will bring up this window. You'll notice that you have the option of choosing your targets and boundaries by either set or individual geometric components. You can choose an individual X, Y, or Z direction. You can choose to set a custom vector, or you may even choose the direction of a geometry itself. You can customize the name of the output file, or you come down here to, present, to uh, project the area and start the analysis. And your final computed area of, of the projected area analysis is reported here in the window. So as a quick demonstration, let's perform something simple, like using the shown set, which is everything here. We can set it in the Z direction only. And so we're just doing a Z top down uh, component. And what it's going to do is compute the area analysis for us. So we click start. And now, if we jump to a top view, you'll see that the projected area of all of these components have been set and projected up in the Z direction. And so the boundary follows this edge, and we can even do a hidden view and see what that looks like. And so you can do this in any number of directions. And so this analysis is quite useful if you're trying to look for, for example, a frontal area calculation for a body or if you're looking for the area of a fuselage in a rotor downwash. Each of these are, are able to be done in the projected area analysis, and we'll give a few examples of those in subsequent videos. But this hopefully serves as a bit of an introduction to the projected area analysis window and how to execute a run.